And God bless you. This is Pastor Stephen Roseman coming to you from New Hope Tabernacle. We are that caring church in the community with people in mind to love. We do love and appreciate you, and we thank God for you. Uh, we just wanted to talk to you, uh, being at this Good Friday, about the love of God. Uh, the Bible declares that for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Amen. We want to thank the Lord Jesus Christ for the love that he's shown towards us. Amen. Because he hung on Calvary's cross. He could have gotten up at any time. He could have killed uh, the people that were trying to crucify him. He could have called a thousand angels, a legion of angels to come and rescue him. But he had hung on the cross because he thought about you and I. Because he knew that he, he had to shed his blood for our sins to be forgiven. He, he, he knew he wanted us to be with him in eternity. So I want you to know regardless of who you are, regardless of what you've done, regardless of your predicament, your estate, that you can be forgiven of any sin, that the Lord Jesus Christ loves you immeasurably, more than you can ever know, and his blood can wash away your sins. For the Bible declares, it says, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us for all sin and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. No matter who you are, no matter what you've done, the Lord Jesus Christ is there. He says, come unto me, all you that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light, and you will have rest into your souls. He says, come to me, just come as you are, and I, no matter what you've done. Amen. Uh, you could be a liar, cheater, fornicator, adulterer, homosexual. No matter what it is, the Lord Jesus Christ is there to love you and, and forgive you. And we want to say thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, for hanging on the cross and for thinking about us. It was love that, that held him to the cross. And because our sins can be forgiven, because of the work that he has done, we have the victory in Jesus' name. I want you to know that you have the victory. Uh, in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 57, it says, But thanks be to God, which giveth us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. No matter what it is, no matter if it's sickness, no matter if it's ailments, disease, no matter whatever the works of the enemy, amen, marital problems, even death, we have victory even over everything, even over death. Hallelujah. Amen. It's in St. John chapter 11, verse 25, where Jesus says, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And whoso liveth in me, and belief in me shall never die. Amen. God bless you. Heaven smile upon you. You have the victory in Christ Jesus. May the Lord bless and keep you. Let's praise Jesus in Jesus' name. God bless you and peace.